Windows wide, the curtains fly to catch the evening breeze. Without you here to keep me warm, believe I'd rather freeze. Believe I'd rather freeze. Hey guys, it's Lin. Today I'm going to take you guys with me to Kanazawa, a very beautiful city in Japan. This time I'm on a low budget, so I'm using this special train ticket called Seijun Juhachi. This ticket is only sold during certain periods throughout the year and they are super cheap. Just with 12,050 yen, which is a bit over 100 USD, you can ride any train on the JR lines for 5 days and you can share this ticket with other people too. Thanks to this ticket, I only had to pay 4,820 yen for a 2 day trip to Kanazawa, which normally would cost like 4 or 5 times more than that. The downside of this is that I have to change trains for over 10 times and it took me around 12 to 13 hours to go from Tokyo to Kanazawa. However, because the trains aren't that fast, I was able to enjoy the scenery along the way and it was totally worth it. I was able to see beautiful ocean and mountains and even Mount Fuji. Right now, I'm in a city called Fukui and Fukui Prefecture is best known for its dinosaur museum so that's why you can see a lot of dinosaur stuff here. Fukui is just about 1 hour and a half away from Kanagawa so we decided to stop here for dinner. <coughs> We've just searched on the internet and found this restaurant close to the station, so we decided to give it a try. Fukui is close to the ocean, so the seafood here normally tastes better and are cheaper than in Tokyo. The food was pretty good considering that we just randomly found this place on the internet. After over 10 hours sitting on the train, it felt great to be able to sit down, relax and enjoy the food. Sometimes in my silence, before the city glow, I still recall the nights when I could hear you breathing. But it's too late to turn around to call to go outside. We finished dinner around 8:30 p.m. then we got back on the train to finally go to Kanazawa. I'm now at the hotel and this is a very standard business hotel room in Japan. It's super tiny but affordable so that we can spend money on other stuff like food. There are yukatas inside the drawer which you can wear inside the room or to the public bath inside the hotel. The weather is very nice the next morning so it's perfect to take a walk around Kanazawa. This city is so beautiful that I fall in love with it right away. The streets here are so aesthetically pleasing that I'm sure you can take amazing photos just from any corner. Kanazawa is full of well-preserved historical buildings and ancient districts. That's probably why Kanazawa is also known as Little Kyoto, though to be honest, I personally enjoyed my time in Kanazawa much more than when I visited Kyoto. I feel like Kanazawa is not as well-known as Kyoto, so it feels like a hidden gem. It was very peaceful and there were not that many tourists around. Broken hearts and crazy, crazy rides And when you hear in the countdown Goodbye, oh dear Thanks for being around I feel the next one is going to sleep And it's a minute to midnight People smiling and embracing They are having a great time You can read it on the faces It's a minute to midnight There's no way I'm feeling blue Cause in a minute at midnight I'd be busy kissing you And down the sky will Blossom up into a million colors Rising from the sea the It's 
time for lunch and we are here at this seafood restaurant. Kanazawa is close to the ocean so it's quite famous for delicious seafood and that's why I really wanted to try it out. This restaurant has very good review on the internet and I love its cozy traditional atmosphere. The food was so tasty as well so I really recommend this place if you come to Kanazawa. Another thing that you can find a lot in Kanazawa is probably food decorated with gold leaf. In this shop, they are selling gold ice cream which is for sure not something you see much in your daily life. Just like any other tourist, I was curious what gold tastes like so I decided to get one. Hi, master. Hi. So this is how it looks like up close. When you eat it, the gold leaf will stick to your leaf which is kind of interesting but other than that, the gold leaf doesn't really have any special taste. After lunch, I walked around and explored the area. This is Higashi Chaya district and it is the most famous historical districts of tea house and geisha in Kanazawa. There are many traditional wooden buildings and inside those buildings there are many small stores that sell local food and souvenirs. My next destination is another most visited spot of Kanazawa. It takes only about 20 minutes to walk there. This is Kenrokuen Garden and it's one of the most beautiful and famous gardens in Japan. It's very special so you are going to need at least 1 or 2 hours to see everything. The garden is beautiful no matter what season it is so make sure that you come here if you have a chance. Hear every note that my heart sings Like a choir of bells, how they all ring Oh, can't you tell, neath the timpani swells and heartstrings There's a place, deep in our hearts, where it matters We can stay there forever Right next to Kenrokuen Garden, you'll find Kanazawa Castle and it's also a very important landmark of Kanazawa. This area is also huge, so I recommend coming here early so that you can have enough time to see everything. I came here way too late so I couldn't get inside any of the buildings. If you walk up here, you'll be able to have a very good view of the whole area and it is just so beautiful. There was also illumination here in the evening, so I waited until it got dark. After watching the illumination, I headed back to Kanazawa station for dinner. On the way, there was a very nice shrine and they were selling birthday fortune teller which was kind of interesting so I got one. Anyway, this is where I'm going to have dinner. This restaurant's name is Thai and it offers a very unique experience. Here you have to enter through a very tiny slide door so you have to bend down to get in. You have to enter the passcode that they send you in advance to get the door open. The restaurant is actually a renovated 110 year old house and it looks so beautiful inside. Another special thing about this restaurant is that they offer food in a square wooden box. The staff will first open the box and prepare the tea for you then explain to you how you can order. You can look through the menu then just put a check in the box of the food that you want. We had to wait for about 20 to 30 minutes for them to get the food ready. And this is how they carry the food to you. So cool right? 
The food looks amazing and the seafood are divided in many small glass containers. They also provided several different kinds of seasonings that you can mix with the rice and the seafood the way you want. As you can see, the seafood are very fresh and they taste amazing as well. I also got soup and I have to break this to put the hot water inside to make the soup. I actually have never seen this before anywhere outside of Japan and I think it's a really great idea. I ordered ochazuke as well which is basically rice with green tea and I really enjoy it too. The dessert was good as well but a bit too sweet for me. Overall, I love the food and the experience here. I will leave the detail of this restaurant in the description box so try it out if you have a chance. And that is also the end of my second day in Kanazawa. On the third day of my trip, the weather is not so good so most of the activities I plan for today are indoor. The first thing that I will do before starting the day is to have curry rice for brunch. I randomly found this restaurant along the way. The food looks good and the shop looks cozy so I decided to give it a try. They sell curry rice and you can choose two different types of curry so it was very interesting. The food was super delicious as well. After lunch, I head to 21st Century Museum of Contemporary Art which is just a few minutes away from the restaurant. This is a very well-known museum and is a most visit attraction in Kanazawa thanks to its beautiful design and great collection of modern art. There are many good photo spots so you can take a lot of photos and you can also have fun interacting with the art installation as well. The admission fee was 1200 yen per person and there were many things to see but photos and videos are not allowed in most of the exhibitions so I can only show you a part of it. This swimming pool is the most popular artworks in this museum. It looks just like a normal swimming pool but you can actually go inside and look up from the bottom of it. It's so popular that you have to reserve it a week in advance to be able to get in. As I mentioned before, besides the artworks, there are many spots where you can take good photos too, so you'll see a lot of girls and couples here. I spent about 2 hours in the museum then go to a cafe after that. The name of this place is Tamon Cafe and it was recommended to me by my friend. I love the cozy atmosphere here and they burn some incense so the smell is so good and the whole place feels so warm. This place is well known for having delicious pancakes and the one that I order is so fluffy. The other food that they sell are all really good as well. It's evening now and I'm at this restaurant for dinner. We reserved it in advance so we were able to get a private room for ourselves. The restaurant looks very Japanese both from the outside and inside so I really like it. This place is most famous for its seafood dishes especially tuna and crab. Tuna and crab dishes can be quite popular so we had to reserve some dishes in advance as well. By now, you may be wondering why half of my video is about eating but to be honest, wherever I go, eating is one of the main activities for me. As I said before, Kanazawa is very well known for having delicious seafood so eating seafood here was a must for me. I found this restaurant online and it has very good reviews. I ordered several different types of tuna and crab dishes and they were all amazing. I ate so much that I could barely move at the end of the evening. Today is the last day of my trip and I will head back home. 
It will be another 12 to 13 hours trip on the train so I want to get some good breakfast first. There's a cafe on the first floor of the hotel I was staying in and the breakfast they offer is very reasonable and delicious. After eating, we just headed straight to the station and get on the train to go home. It was a long journey to get back but just like the day when I came, I enjoyed looking at the scenery outside along the way so it was not really boring for me. We had a bumpy ride But if you give me one more chance I make it I feel like so if you want to come back home I will cook you Sunday breakfast After getting back to Tokyo, we were so hungry so we came to Torikizoku for dinner. Torikizoku is a very cheap restaurant chain where you can get all food and drink for less than 300 yen each. Anyway, that is the end of my trip and also the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up and help me share it with your friends, family or on your social media. Subscribe for more videos about life and travel in Japan. Have a great weekend and I'll see you again soon. Bye!